my good morning travel days here. I am in the beautiful city of Hatiai in South Thailand. Uh, this is my second day. I arrived last night. I had some dinner, as you saw in the in the, in the video here in the street, and then I went back home and I slept. I was so so tired. I slept the whole night because of the long journey from Kuala Lumpur all the way here. So today is my second day here. I'm gonna have some coffee. Just woke up. This beautiful street is just like food. Look at that. Right behind me, there's some uh, some satay and stuff. You know, there's some restaurants right there. I know there is a uh, fruit shops down there, 7 Eleven, everything. So you can see she's making some satay. Look at that. I just wanna show you Hati Eye during the daytime, okay? Today I'm gonna go out, so I'm gonna take you with me. There's a bus coming. Okay, this, this beautiful streets of Thailand. I'm gonna have a breakfast in this coffee shop right here. I already ordered some uh, cafe latte and some breakfast. Okay, look at this building. So cool. But the old buildings are so cool. I like them. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna have some breakfast first and then I'm gonna go. And people ride on motorbikes. As you can see, look at their beautiful motorbike. I don't see this kind of motorbikes in Malaysia or in Indonesia. It's a Honda. But I don't see this model anywhere in Indonesia or Malaysia, surprisingly. So uh, you see like this one also is a different model, which is popular here in, uh, in Thailand, okay? All right, so let's, there is a big, huge restaurant right there at the corner, selling local food, soups and stuff. Well, I'm gonna have some breakfast. I'm gonna have some coffee, bread, some sausage and eggs, okay? Because I'm really, really hungry. I had tom yam last night and it was super nice, super, for like $4. Uh, as you saw in the video, you, 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 go, you, you go and watch that video, okay? Let's have some breakfast first. And the coffee shop, look at that. She's making my latte right there, quite nice. And uh, they have a little bit of pastry, they have nice decoration there, orange juice. Look at that, so cool. It's a small but very nice, it's air con also. That's my stuff right there. So nice. Welcome to Hatia, South Thailand. Hatia is quite a big city. Not the biggest, but it's, 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 it has everything you need. It's a it's, it's very strong city. I tried to pay her and I was giving her some Malaysian coins right there, those yellow ones. Yeah, the silver looking ones. <laughs> I was trying to pay with that, but they gave me, she gave them back to me because it was uh, Malaysian money. <laughs> and it's so funny when you are in a different country and you still don't understand the money. You know, I mean, I understand the big, big notes, the big Thai notes, like the 50, 500, uh, you know, 100, 1,000. But those little coins are a little bit confusing because I can't see if it's one, one buck or or 20 baht or 10 baht so so i don't know so i was giving her some uh, malaysian coins to pay all right so this is where i am at let's have some breakfast i'm gonna go i'm gonna go downtown i need to check the train to bangkok see if i can buy the ticket uh, early for tomorrow uh, and then do a few things in the center of the city okay so let's go Look at that, I'm so good breakfast, uh, morning, morning time in Hatiai. So good, I'm having some breakfast. Actually the coffee is so, so good. I don't know, I finished some bread and eggs, but it was small so I ordered another one. The bread was like only one piece with one egg on it, so I'm still hungry so I ordered another one for like $1.50. The whole meal for $1.50, so it's cheap. And then it's something, very very special about the about the coffee in Thailand. It's really good. It's so amazing. You know, I mean, coffee in Malaysia is nice, and and you have to look for like good coffee shops that make good coffee. But here, everywhere you go, the coffee is so nice. Like I, I always finish the the cup, the cup of coffee. It's just not strong. It's like it reminds me of coffee in Italy. It's just so, perfect balance. Not too strong. Not bitter. Even if you drink it without. Uh, without the sugar, you know, because I, most of the time I don't put sugar in it if I'm having something sweet with it, like pastry or whatever, uh, I, I can drink it, it's not bitter, you know, so this coffee is so, so good, and I miss it, I miss it, I mean, coffee in Indonesia is not bad at all, I mean, I've been in coffee shops there where the coffee was awesome, you know, but uh, but uh, something special about, about, about Thailand and, and, 
and coffee and of course the food in general in Thailand, people, nature, everything. So I'm really excited. Today is my, my second day here. Yesterday I didn't do that much. I was, I was super tired, really I was super tired and I had to go to sleep. I ate dinner, I slept, slept like nine o'clock or something. Uh, today I'm gonna do a few things and I'm so happy to be back in this city that I know and I understand. I've been here, first time I came here, I've been here for like maybe seven days or something because I came only here and then I went back to Malaysia. And the second time I came here for one night and then I went all the way to you know Bangkok, Phuket and all that, Cambodia and all that stuff. So this is my third time being here and I really love it. People are so nice, food is everywhere. Uh, city is beautiful. It's a little bit hot. The weather here is a little bit hot or hotter than, than Malaysia, I would say uh, But but it's okay, you yeah? uh, know I ordered another food so I'm gonna show you what I ordered next and then we're gonna go All right, so this is my second meal egg and Vegetables bread and everything they give you they give tea for free. I didn't order that tea. I ordered just the coffee. The coffee looks amazing. Look at that. So, so good. And there's some sauces there. So it's really, really good. And I'm so hungry. This is my second meal. They're very, very helpful. I was trying to ask them for Western Union, but they didn't understand. <laughs> so I used the Google Translate with them to ask them for Western Union. You know, it's like, a, it's, it's, it's a, they don't understand, but they really try. They, re they call each other and then they try. They look at my phone for a long time, you know. So good, so good, you know. Such a good people. All right, so I came to the mall. Festival, Central, Central Festival Mall. ATI Central Festival Mall. Look at that, it is so good. Such a beautiful, clean mall. It has everything. Everything you want, food banks, restaurants. I bought some shoes. Timberland shoes, 50%. I've always wanted these shoes because uh, last time I bought shoes was like two years ago. So, uh, so these are very, very nice. A, a good investment for walking and traveling. I'll show you guys later. And they were half price, of course. They were 50%. So let's uh, take a tour in Hatiai. Central Festival Mall, okay? Alright, so I'm having a food massage here at the mall for six dollars per hour. Look at that. It's an open place at the mall here. You can just come and sit down and and have your foot or even body massage over there you can go in there you see there's another room like three rooms if you want to have a full body massage i always go for a foot massage and that's enough this is six dollars per hour actually in uh, in phuket it was way way cheaper it was three dollars three three dollars yeah per 150 Yes, it was about three dollars per hour, and here it's six dollars per hour. Yeah, if I'm if I'm calculating right, okay. It was way cheaper. In Phuket, uh, it was one hundred fifty baht, and here it's two hundred fifty baht. Okay, but it's okay, you know, because I saw somewhere else it was almost the same price. It was nothing, nothing cheaper than two fifty per hour. But I think in Phuket, because they, there's a lot of competition, and they try to put to put the price down. So anyway, this is good. I need it. I am so, so tired. I've been walking for at least an hour and a half, two hours here in the mall and outside, of course. So let's have a good massage and I want to find some food. I want to eat. Okay, so, so I want to find some food. Okay, so I'm going to eat. Well, I think I'm going to eat outside of the mall. And they had, all their customers are local, as you can see, at Hatiai Festival Mall. Okay. All right, so the food, uh, so the massage was really, really good. Now I'm in the food court here in Hatiai. Quite nice, all kind of, uh, you see like sweet potato, they boil it. They got fried chicken, as you can see, so good. And then you have like bread and stuff. There is a supermarket right behind me, right over there on the left side. So it's very, very 
very nice, very nice supermarket, alive and and busy. Look at that, all kind of stuff, all kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm really hungry. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna go to the supermarket and see if I can buy some fruits and some water or something. Because the last thing I ate is that food in the morning, the eggs and bread and coffee and uh, a very nice breakfast. So I am looking at this fruits, okay? Um, I, I wish I can have some fish, but there is no fish here. Everything is fried and I'm trying to avoid, you know, uh, that kind of food. So I'll probably walk outside and see if I can find a restaurant, a decent restaurant that sells seafood or tom yum or something like that, okay? Look at that. All kind of fruits. I like the papaya though. Uh, avocados, you know, jackfruit, melon, grapes, everything. And there is more over there. Uh, this is how a supermarket in Thailand looks like, Hatiai. Actually, it's very, very, very modern. Very beautiful, it has almost everything you need. Drinks and everything over there, uh, sushi, as you can see, like a lot of sushi here. I like sushi, but I don't like it cold. I mean, I don't like fish cold. I like like grilled fish and stuff, so. So yeah, so it's just, uh, I'm just gonna buy some fruits and then I'm gonna walk out and see if I can find a restaurant that sells seafood. Uh, some seafood and rice or something like that. Fried rice with seafood, okay? All right, so I went to the train station just now. It's in, uh, right in front of me. The train station is right here. And uh, and I got a ticket for tomorrow for Suratani. I'm going to another town tomorrow. Getting closer to Bangkok, okay? And I ordered some food for me. I ordered some food from here. Yesterday I ate there when I first arrived that uh, beef soup it's very nice this is the train station right there in the center of uh, of Hatiai city and right in front of it there is these stalls here about like three or four restaurants so yesterday I ate when I arrived I ate there today I'm eating here uh, some soup some meat and uh, some stuff I'm, I'm so hungry I couldn't eat in the mall because I couldn't find what I want so I came here and here food is cheap also it's like three dollars for everything let me show you Look at that. That is so good. And I had a soya bean. I had my shoes that I sold you Timberland that I bought at price. Let's eat. So I arrived near the hotel. So I bought some fruits, I bought some stuff so I can have some something to eat in a, in a, in a hotel. It's about 4:30 and it's so so hot here. So I'm just going to go back to the hotel and rest in the aircon. I have some stuff here with me, some fruits and uh, shoes that I bought and everything. So let's call it a day for now. Hati I Look at that building, I had breakfast in that coffee shop over there. Hatiai is so good, I like Hatiai. My hotel is just down there, that building right there at the end of the street. Okay, so cool. I am really tired, sweaty. And it's a little bit of a breeze though, you know, it's not, it's not, that, it's not stuffy, but it's hot. And I couldn't find one of my hats in Malaysia. And uh, the hat that I was always traveling with, so I, I need to buy a hat. I, I, I looked at the supermarket, I couldn't find anything good. So anyway, tomorrow I'm gonna go to Suratani, another town on the way to Bangkok. 
so I got the train ticket for five hours so cheap like three dollars for three hours but it's just economy class so we see how that will go you know I tried to buy the you know like the business class or something but she said it's all full it's all booked it's booked all the way sleeper you know they have because they have sleeper sleeper cabinet you know where you can sleep there uh, it's all sold out okay I was even thinking to take the train all the way to Bangkok Street for like 14 hours but I don't think I should do that I'm just gonna get so tired so I'll just divide it into small trips that way I will see more cities you know I will like Solatani I have not seen it I'm thinking to stop after Solatani I'm thinking to go to stop at uh, Hua Hin it's another town that I have seen on on videos you know and it looks it looks good it looks it looks nice so I'll probably stop there before I make it to Bangkok okay but this is my hotel here's a dog right behind me okay and see this hotel is quite nice it's like $25 and it's so good so the, the room is so nice smells good you know, uh, Thailand infrastructure is awesome. They're taking out the garbage. These are the cleaners. Okay. <clears throat> and you see the name of the hotel. If you want to check it out, Cha Cha the Hotel. As you can see, it's, it's quite a nice place, actually. Very affordable. And the room is very, very decent. This is the, uh, the lobby. Okay. Let's walk through the front door. That's the, that's the lobby right there. Okay. All right. So I'll see you guys later. Maybe tonight for dinner or something. I'm gonna go and rest.